grade is Miss Frannis and we're, we're taking a break from our lessons this week to celebrate Catholic Schools Week. So I'm excited for Catholic Schools Week. I hope you are too. And we're going to be reading the story of Jonah today. And we're going to notice our call number is a little bit different than it has been recently. We are back in the nonfiction section and that is the religious section. So that is where this book would be and our call number is 224.92 DAV. So that is where all of our Bible stories are at in the nonfiction section. So the book today is written by Alice Joyce Davison, illustrated by Victoria Marshall, and it is the story of Jonah. Alice was a little girl who liked to sing and play. She loved her Bible storybook and read from it each day she was reading Jonah's story all about the Bible time when an airmail bird delivered a note that had this rhyme. Reading is the magic key to take you where you want to be. The book that Alice ha held became a giant magic screen. She walked on through to Bible land and came upon this scene. God was telling Jonah, I have for you a mission. Jonah, go to Nivea and fix a bad condition. These people, they are sinning. They don't know right from wrong. They need someone to warn them whose faith is very strong. They're strangers to you, Jonah, but help them mend their ways or their wickedness will bring despair in only 40 days. thought Jonah, I don't like them. I won't warn them, I won't go. I'd rather disobey and hide than help folks, I don't know. So Jonah tried to run from God. He paid to take a ride on board a great big sailing ship with space where he could hide. But Jonah couldn't hide from God, for God is everywhere. When Jonah hid beneath the deck, God found him hiding there. God sent a wind that caused a storm that rocked the ship at sea. And all the sailors on the ship were frightened as could be. Back and forth the ship rocked. It almost broke in two. The captain went to Jonah and asked him what to do. Jonah said, I ran away and disobeyed the Lord. It's me he wants to punish, so throw me overboard. The sailors didn't want to do as Jonah said they should. The storm kept growing worse and worse as Jonah knew it would. To calm the storm, the sailors had to follow Jonah's wish. They threw him in the sea, and then God sent a great big fish. The big fish swallowed Jonah as he sank into the sea. Oh me, oh my, thought Jonah, what will become of me? Inside the fish's belly, all alone and scared, he stayed. For three long days and three long nights, Jonah prayed and prayed and prayed. Jonah asked God to forgive him for running far away, for Jonah knew that it was wrong to ever disobey. He thanked God for his mercy. He thanked God for his care. And from the bottom of the sea, God heard his every prayer. God had the fish float Jonah out safe upon a shore. And God told Jonah that he should go to Nivea once more. This time, Jonah minded God. To Nivea he went, he warned. You all have 40 days in which you can repent. The people 
people there all listened. They repented, everyone, and God forgave and spared them when he saw what they had done. But Jonah wasn't pleased at all, for Jonah had no pity and wasn't happy that he helped the people save their city. Jonah sat down in the sun, and next to him God made a lovely plant that grew and grew and offered Jonah shade. The next day, God destroyed the plant that Jonah learned to love. He questioned why God did this, and God answered from above. You felt pity for a plant that lived for one short day? Isn't Nivea far greater than a plant in every way? That city's filled with people who were wicked and were bad, and they were sorry and repented, and that made me very glad. Didn't Jonah finally understand? For in his heart he knew that God is merciful and wise and all forgiving too. Alice walked back through the screen. She put her book away and thought, I learned three special things in Bible land today. First of all, we must obey what God tells us to do. Then I learned God's everywhere. We can't hide from his view. And I know that when we're bad and sorry as can be, God has mercy and has pity and forgives us lovingly. Then Alice said a silent prayer and thanked the Lord above for all the lessons she had learned and for his endless love. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the story of Jonah. And today, ah, you're going to have your own little coloring sheet here that says Jonah obeys. And then I hope you're in for a challenge. Because yes, you are going to try to find Jonah right here in the middle of that whale. So we'll see if you can do that. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you next week with another lesson. Bye.